This is not a fish pond, Commander. This is a shrimp pond, I guess. Shrimp pond. How far? Just here? Jake, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> what did you do, Jake? <laughs> Yeah, what did you do? Is that your guilty face? Is that your guilty face? You're hiding under there? Yappy yep, oh. Alright, today is gonna be very relaxed one. We started off this morning. Usually wake up like 5 or 6 a.m. and then I just did a lot of editing. Morning! <laughs> Yeah, it's always good to uh, do some editing in the morning and then, oh my goodness, look at Blue Thunder, guys. Is that what you get for Saint Tapiapo? Ooh. Anyways, we're gonna pick up Justin, Julia, we're gonna go check out one land, which is up in the, a little bit above sea level, so it's gonna be a lot more affordable. And, uh, Later on, we're gonna go to a restaurant and just have a relaxed pool day. Chillax day. Up, up. <laughs> okay, that's one way to do it. Nice one. <laughs> that one's better, yep. Chill in between the window, here. Here we are at the very large land, 3,200 square meter. Quite affordable. You can afford this one for sure. And it's absolutely massive. It's hard to tell from here. You can see there's uh, still a lot of vegetation here that would have to be cleaned up, of course. Make some uh, land, keep some of the trees, of course. And yeah, it basically goes from that tree there all the way to the end of the road over there. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of poco trees, palm trees, something to think about. And then again, there's some lands that I want to check out as well that are have a better view. So even if some of the bush should be chopped down, the next land I think is blocking the ocean. So it's all right, it's all right. What I love about Philippines, we can just grow whatever we want here. Every, you stick it to the ground, that's it. And some water, and it grows. Blows my mind. It's quite easy of you, but like I said, you've got some bush in the background, and you don't see the ocean. Nice breeze. Whew. Also, I should say, of course, that the location is it's really good. It's very close to Darwin, but getting here, we had to go through a couple of a uh, couple of lands and a dirt road. But it's a Baranga road, so the way of right, it's all good, and it's you know we can build whatever we want here. But let's see if we can find something with a little bit better view. Like 3,200 square meters is quite big, and it's quite cheap. But unfortunately, the view is not that really that beautiful. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, and. Uh, the road is cracky roadie. It's a bit tricky to get here. Yeah. But it's still it's Baranka Road, so the way of right is alright. Yep. Way of right yep. is alright. 
Right. <laughs> Made it to Liquid de Maguire. Nice place. Big dining area, pool. I think we're gonna jump in, have a pool day. Here's the beach. Oh. It's a bit rocky entrance. Have you dove here before? Yeah, when I when I used to work with these guys, I we dove a lot. It's hard to explain it guys, but uh, I get such a good feeling here in Dawan because there's so many cool restaurants, resorts, and they're all like in the same area. Sorry. Easy access to go to all of them and they all have their unique beach vibes, island vibes. So this one is uh, very different from the other one, but it's so fun to go between them, have lunch or whatever, spend the uh, afternoon dip in the pool or something, you know? so good too. Mm. Should have a tree like this in yeah, the land. Please. Ooh, nice. Did you change the password? Yeah. It's really good. Why is yours so big? Because I'm special. Look at mine. Mine is so small. Because uh, <laughs> they said more tasty. <laughs> All right. So we skipped going to the pool because uh, we had to bring Jake back who was being babysitter there at the uh, Liquid Dumaguete. So uh, we came to a very cool spot. This is not a fish pond. Commander, this is a shrimp pond, I guess. Shrimp pond. We're gonna get some uh, food today. Fresh as it gets. I'll catch it, yeah. I'm an expert fisherman. All you have to do is catch two, and you're better than me. I've catch zero in mobile. I'm still at zero. I saw Jess's video and our friend is gonna teach us the way of harvesting them, I guess. Yeah. Easy. Easy. <laughs> you don't have to throw it far? Only here? Okay. No! Oh, jump. oh jump you're in. jumping! Whoa! <laughs> it's a lot. Well, it was way harder when I did. Yeah, you you had to throw well, it. I, I did some physical labor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's fresh. That's fresh. Whoa. Same guy that helped me too. Oh. How much is that? How far? Just here. Yes. Uh, So so. <laughs> so so. Oh, you got it. Dragon. Uh, oh, it's heavy. They cut some next year, then. They cut some. Oh, it's really heavy. <laughs> you got a lot of bubbles. Only few, though. Only few. <laughs> Only bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Only few. Oy. We got few, though. We got few, though. There's only two ponds operational right now and there's three more I can see that are yeah, empty basically and uh, that's of course due to COVID and tourism and all that. Wow. Try to get in. <gasps> That's a lot, Tui! Yeah, you got two there. There's like three. That's a lot, Tui. Maybe four or five. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Kevin. You ready? Yeah, yeah. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, don't, don't scratch Jake, Jake, huh? It's okay. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Are you scared, Jake? Bye -bye. <laughs> Kevin's not scared of one dog. It's one that's smaller than one. See, all good. Jake, why don't you sniff Kevin? Kevin! Kevin! No, no. Oh, 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 oh. You wanna go into the pool? Yeah, this is. Come on. 
Okay, what's this thing right there? Riley, it's okay, it's okay. Wait, wait. Get the kuani, Riley, eh? They got a lot in common because all he cares about is food. Whoa, it's a big one. Yeah. Hey, boy. hey, boy. Hey, boys. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Oh, my gosh. Nice. 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 Oh. Nice. Oh. Yeah, good boys. Come here. Yeah, good boy. Good. <laughs> up here, up here. Enjoy the gym. Thank you. The piapo. Oh yeah, I should have probably mentioned also after we cut the shrimp yesterday and we had a really lovely dinner at Justin's house that, you know, we're, our lives are so public and we're always sharing most of the things we do or at least, you know, maybe the ones that's kind of exciting but Sometimes we have dinner with random people and I just didn't feel like picking up the camera and uh, show you guys what we ate even though it's a really good food just uh, sometimes we gotta respect other people's privacy especially if we're meeting them for the first time so um, yeah that's why we didn't show the food yesterday <laughs> but anyways uh... oh yeah it's a new speedboat there by the way we might go check that one out soon anyways we're gonna go to Talata I think it's part of Sampaquita, or maybe it's that one, I'm not quite sure. It's so close to each other. And we're gonna do dive with that just in that one of our favorite spots so far. Oh. We made it back to Thalara. No, this is my last tapai. I'm still getting a hang of the words here. Come to uh, Justin's favorite current dive site. Alex is here with us, of course. What are we gonna see today, Alex? Uh, we try to uh, look for the hairy frog face. Ah, we hope, we hope. It's gonna be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get in there. Found another local guy that saw a hairy yesterday. Yeah. So we're gonna pay him to come tag along with us. True. But so, this first one is perfect conditions, huh? Yeah man, we got perfect. Remember guys, we always had the wavy ones, but now it's getting so good. Ice coffee. This was a scary moment. We we're about to gear up and I noticed on my house sink, which has like a safety light here, which indicates if there's a leak in my camera rig. So it was blinking red and that only meant that the air was going out and if we were in the water it would leak and probably destroy the whole camera rig we removed this one and then we noticed on the o-ring which is a circle around the port that one is basically the seal of the house sink and on the rink <coughs> there was a lot of sand and dust and that's where the air managed to get into the housing. Normally you're supposed to clean this O-ring every five to 10 dives, but I haven't cleaned it for, what, the first 15 dives here or something? Put a little bit of silicone and loop the whole ring before we put it back in. The O-ring is now looped up, but you also want to make sure it's not too much. Simply place it back in and that's our seal light back on now the only problem we have now is that I don't have my vacuum pump so there's a manual way <laughs> suck the air out I've never seen that you see it's already turning yellow and it has to become green see green Good to go. <laughs> All right, now that you've sucked off your uh, camera, let's go dive. <laughs> you don't have to use that. No, I usually let it, sure. <laughs> All right, a tip for you all, if you're diving from the shore, walking from the beach, there's a high chance that sand might get caught into your underwater housing. So always check out on the O-ring if something is there or leaking. Once we get into the water of the Malatapai Maki area, we notice the nudibranch right away. 
and soon after a fire chant I believe or see some sort of a sea urchin and we always check these out because there's always a chance there might be some cool rare shrimps around it but not on this one and at about 10 meter depths we got these beautiful ornate ghost pipe fish not just one but two of them I actually saw these guys on my very first dive here in Darwin but unfortunately I didn't get a good footage of them so here's my very first black one ornate ghost pipefish. I love these guys. Look at their crazy shape, the spikiness, camouflage like a soldier, marine uniform, black, yellowish, grayish, super cool. And a couple of meters away I saw this really cool looking shrimp that I've never seen before. It has a wonderful text pattern, moves in a funny way, and it likes to hide among the rubble or the artificial reef, and I thought I was lucky seeing one. However, there was tons of them. It seems like almost all the dive sites in Darwin they have the ghost pipefish, but here's another pipefish I've never seen before. This is the snout ghost pipefish. You would think at first it's the robust one, the pure blank green one. However, if you look closer, he has these things stuck onto his body. Almost looks like some anemones or venomous things growing on him. I don't know. <laughs> kind of looks like the frogfish from the other day with things growing on him. Maybe he's getting old and grumpy. Who knows? But once again, first one for me. And later on into the dive, Justin called me over and said, hey, come take a look at this. And here we have my first orangutan crab. And you can see why it gets the name orangutan, because it literally looks like the orangutan monkey. He even does this monkey movement. And he has the orange color, furry almost. <laughs> Yet again, another first one for me. So you guys can kind of see the trend here on each and every single dive. We literally seen something for the first time every single dive. At least for me, for now. <laughs> 